Patching ROMs has been an internal struggle for some people. I will show you the easiest way to patch any ROM, regardless of the device you are using. Before I start with the guide, I need to explain some of the terminology in this video. A ROM is a copy of the data from a read-only memory chip. This is the original, unpatched game. For example, Pokemon Fire Red, Super Mario World or Mega Man 2. A patch is the file that, in simple words, needs to be installed onto the ROM. This file can come as a few extensions, like .ips, .ups or .bps. But don't pay too much attention to these extensions. We will be using a universal patcher that can patch all of those. Then finally, a ROM hack is the result of a patched ROM or in other words, the original game with a patch installed onto it. The first step is to choose the ROM hack you want to play. I've been wanting to play Pokemon Emerald Rogue for a long while now, so that's the ROM hack I will be showing these steps with. There are multiple places to download a patch from, but I advise sticking to romhacking.net, more niche websites for specific games, or a Discord server from the ROM hack itself. I can tell you where to find a patch file for every ROM hack in existence. A simple Google search should do the job. On to the next step. Download your patch from one of the previously mentioned places. Regardless of the device, your downloaded file should be located in your downloads folder, unless you have manually chosen a different location. You will most likely download the patch file directly, but it's possible that the creator of the ROM hack delivers it in a zip or a RAR file. These act like folders with a reduced file size, so they are easier to share online. Any device can open a zip file, but a RAR file can be a bit more complicated. It's possible to open a RAR file through your browser on all kinds of websites, which you can easily find by googling unpack RAR file or something similar. It's it's also possible to do this locally with a downloadable app or software, which every device has something different for. Windows can use WinRAR or WinZip, Mac uses an archiver, Android devices use an app called RAR, and iPhones have the possibility of using WinZip or iZip. If you manage to get your patch file out of the zip or RAR file, it will be located in the same folder where you unpacked it from, which is most likely still the downloads folder. Now you will need a ROM to install the patch onto. The place where you downloaded the patch from should have some guidelines on what ROM you need. Sometimes it is heavily recommended to download a specific version of the ROM you need to patch. On the top of my head, I can think of original versions being important, like needing to choose between USA, European or Japanese versions to run your ROM hack without any issues. In the case of Pokemon ROMs, there are specific versions, for example Pokemon Emerald has the Trashman version, or a Pokemon Fire Red ROM sometimes requires the Squirrels ROM version. All of these are also very easily found with a simple Google search. I won't be able to show any websites that provide a download to these ROMs, since it's illegal to share ROMs of video games. However, it is actually legal to download them if you have bought and own the original copy physically or digitally. Sharing them is a no-no, downloading them is okay. Go figure. If you are unsure about the trustworthiness of certain websites, you should do a bit of research about them. ROM file extensions are usually abbreviations of the full console names, so a Game Boy Advance ROM will have an extension of .gba, or a Nintendo DS ROM will end on .nds. Just please make absolutely sure that you do not download a .exe file. You never need executable software to get a ROM. Now that you have the ROM to patch, go to this website. I've been using it for a few years now and never had a single issue with it. The field with ROM file is where the original game is supposed to be placed. The second field, patch file, is where your downloaded patch needs to be selected. Click on the big green apply patch button and a download will start with your patched ROM in it. Or in other words, your shiny new ROM hack. Don't be too quick to open your brand new file yet. There is one final necessity to download. You need an emulator to play any ROM or ROM hack and every console has a few options across all operating systems. I can't mention the best emulator for every operating system because that would double the length of this video. However, what I can do for you 
my lovely viewer, is linking to a Google Sheet with all of the best emulators on Windows, Mac, Android and iOS for the more popular consoles. You can find the sheet and every other legal resource I've used in the description of this video. There is one piece of software in particular that I want to shine a light on and that's RetroArch. Basically, it's a platform where you can install all of your emulators and run them from one place. It works on a ton of devices, even the four operating systems that I've mentioned in this video. Once you have downloaded an emulator, open it from your downloads folder or from your apps. I am not going into detail about the settings that I use for each emulator, but I might make a video in the future about it. On a desktop computer, you can open your ROM hack in multiple ways. I always select the file option in the menu and then open ROM or load ROM, whatever the emulator says. Smartphone emulators will simply have a list of options when you open them. Regardless of the device, you'll have to navigate to the folder where your ROM hack is saved, which is your downloads folder by default. If you manage to start your ROM hack, then congrats! You have learned to patch and play a ROM hack. Don't hesitate to ask me questions or tell me about any problems you encounter in the comments. I will try my best to help you out. Also, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you are interested in Pokemon ROM hacks. I make videos that document the content in Pokemon ROM hacks and sometimes I go a little beyond that, just like this video. Thanks for watching and have a good one.